Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new day. It's July 3rd, the day before the July 4th holiday, and it's a beautiful day. I woke up and I'm just, I'm not in a good headspace. I think because of the weather, my plans might get a little um, ruined. So I just, I don't want to let that like bother me because it's silly, you know, like nothing major is really happening. Although for some reason it feels like something major is happening. So I need to reel it in. If you watched my June favorites, I I talked to you guys about how I gave myself a, med a medical burn, a chemical burn, and trying this eye cream, and then I think I misused the eye cream. Well, I tried the eye cream again, the same thing is happening, so I think I'm allergic to the eye cream. I don't know if you could see, I'm like really like swollen in here and I'm really red. Like, I don't know if you could see that like in here. So last night I put the eye cream on and you could see a little bit, there was just like a red line, like outlining my circles, especially on this eye. And after it burning for like a half an hour, I went back in the bathroom and washed my face after doing all of my nighttime skincare. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do my morning routine. I need to work out. I started Sydney Cummings Summertime Fine Tier 3. I paid for the calendar so I'm not gonna show you the calendar just because it's not my property but the first day was a 30 minute strength and conditioning yesterday it was 40 minute cardio and abs and then today we have a 45 minute butt and shoulders which sounds like torture to me I was doing really well and I've been doing well I've still been doing the workouts but I feel a lot less enthused to do the workouts I just feel very like blah I think I'm having a struggle internally about how the summer is going by so quickly and I'm not spending the summer how I had hoped I'd spend the summer. I just, I hate this. Like I feel like we look forward to this time of the year all year and then it's here and I don't know, it's not much different than the rest of the year like it is. Like the sun's out, it's nicer weather, you can go outside, you could be outside. But the truth of the matter is, is like I still work a full-time job and that still takes up just as much time in the summer as it did in the other months. I feel like the weather hasn't really been great on the weekends. So I'm just a little sad. I'm a little down and out on the summer so far, but I'm hoping it like picks up. We do some fun things down the shore. I don't know. I'm gonna do my new face. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna journal. I'm gonna work out. We'll probably talk a lot in this vlog about my fitness journey. So to kick it off, I have my first cup of coffee. Normally I have two cups of coffee and I put my collagen peptides in here. You guys know I love the vital proteins. It has about 18 grams of protein, 70 calories. I put it in with my hot coffee. I stir it and then I add and my accoutrements like my creamer and my milk because you want collagen peptides to melt into the coffee and then after I have like half of this I can then begin to start my day cucumber gel mask right over top of my little burns it feels so good very unique so I've never had this bag before this is a mosaic bag and I think this is in like the midi midi size they do like a micro, a mini, and a midi. I look crazy. I was about to put my gym clothes on. More what's happening. I'm gonna go work out, but we're gonna try these on first. I kind of like these because they're straight leg, but they're not like super huge. I find that when I buy oversized pants, I feel like they always are too wide in here, but I like how these hug me until like right mid thigh but let me know what do we think these are mother jeans i heard about them for the first time recently and i've read that they're super comfortable these are very stretchy i could do squats in them i purchased a 27 which is my size so i think these are true to size and i like the m for mother on the tushy i don't know i think that's cute <laughs> I've been terrible at eating today. It's 11.45, I skipped breakfast this morning. Problem is that I really have not been hungry lately. I don't know what's going on, which is not good because I need to be eating more protein. I just find like eating more protein, I feel my best, I look my best, and I just, I have like more energy. It's very strange, but I was doing a really good job for a really long time. 
of getting all of my protein in, but the last like two weeks I've been slacking. So I'm just gonna have a yogurt. I'm gonna have what I would have had for breakfast. And I'll just eat lunch around like two, but I'm gonna have my bowl and basket non-fat yogurt. We normally get Chobani, but Chobani is expensive. $1.60 for yogurt is absurd. 15 grams of protein and zero fat. So that's great for my macros. I'm gonna grab my Love Crunch. Oh. It's so good. Chocolate peanut butter, divine. I have my scale here and I'm gonna measure out a serving of the granola. Cause granola is not bad for you, but I just think anything's bad for you if you over consume it. So I'm gonna measure out 30 grams, 10 grams of honey, really just to drizzle. And then I'm just gonna mix it up. I have been drinking my water today. So I'm on 36 ounces thus far. I'm gonna finish this, refill it. And I'm gonna go eat my delicious yogurt. just show you my morning skincare because I pop on a lot of videos and I say, oh, I did my typical morning skincare and I don't know if I've updated you guys in a minute. So I just took a shower. I'm in my towel. Okay. I'm not naked. I put my little ears on just cause I don't want to get sunscreen skincare in my hair. This is the cleanser I've been using, Face Reality. It's a creamy cleanser and it doesn't strip my skin. I have very dry skin. I was washing my face though and the heat of the shower was like burning my under eyes because of my rash. I washed my face with that. I'm going to use my Shiseido Ultimune. It's full of antioxidants. It helps to fight pollutants. It's very thin and it's hydrating and it's brightening. While I am dry, I'm also very hot, so I can't wear really thick layers. I take all of my skincare down, down my chesticles, so excuse me. Then I take my Tatcha water cream. I like to add a little bit of hydration because I am dry, but again, this is really thin and lays beautifully underneath makeup. It's not too heavy on my skin, so I don't sweat it off throughout the day. Bring it all the way down. We should try and find another eye cream. Let me see what I have in my closet because I would like to use an eye cream. No, it's not necessary. You can always put facial moisturizer underneath your eyes. It's all the same. I just, I like to have an eye cream in our routine. So let me see if I even have something gentle. Hydrate and tone. Oh, this is like bouge. Dragon's blood comforts and restores through skin hydration, hyaluronic acid, long lasting moisture, reduces appearance of puffiness, helps lift and firm. Apply around the eye and under the brow bone twice daily. Look at this little, that's so cute. I'm just gonna pick a little bit up. Now this might be a bad idea. I would not advise you to then use a different eye cream on top of your eyes that are bothering you, but it's easier to give advice than it is to listen to your own advice. This may be my eye cream of July. We shall see. I'll tell you what won't be the eye cream of any time. This beauty stat. This is what gave me a little rash, the Universal C Eye Perfector. I cannot use this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This has been my SPF for my face, Dr. Dennis Gross Ultimate Defense SPF 50. For a minute, I did think that this was breaking out, but it's not. I take a generous amount. And now I'm just going to throw this over top. The light layer it doesn't leave me with too much of a white cast. This is unbelievable. It's honestly like body lotion, but with the benefits of SPF, it's so nice. It's so thin. It leaves like a really nice, I don't know if you could see, like a really nice sheen to my skin, but it doesn't leave me feeling sticky. I literally put this all over my chest, a little bit on my neck, which I didn't put any on my neck because I did bring the 50 down, but you know, a little extra SPF all the way down to my belly button because I get dark spots on my belly and I just, I don't want them anymore. I put them all down my arms and then if I'm gonna wear shorts, I put this on my knees just to protect delicate skin so it doesn't get more creepy. All the other areas, I throw on this. I love this cream, guys. This is my summer cream, Vaseline calm healing and I love the pump on my calves on my tush because my tush isn't going to be out today and then I'll go over top of anywhere I need a bit more SPF 30 look at this effing bar it is delicious We're at the beach house, surprise, my favorite place. And I'm editing my video and I wanted to show you, I am not a beer drinker, but this summer, summer 2024, I don't know what's happening. I'm becoming a beer drinker. I love this Line and Kugel. Don't know if I'm saying that right, summer shandy. It's like a light beer with lemon. Mm. 
but I'm out here. I'm gonna chill. It's beautiful outside. I think the rest of the weekend is gonna be like cloudy and muggy, so I'm just trying to get in as much nice weather as I possibly can editing my video. Hopefully this will go live tomorrow. I am doing a July reset, which I'm not going to lie to you. It is currently July 3rd when I'm filming this and my July is not going any smoother. I just feel very emotional and sensitive. Good, whoa. You licked that like it was good. Like a salty room. Walk away. No. You don't like my coconut cold brew? It's not sweet at all. What did you get? A fall drink. A fall chai tea. Chai tea is very fall. Do we? Do you disagree? No. You can drink whatever you want whenever you want. Well, I got a coconut cold brew because it's July Fourth. Happy I'm Fourth. Drinking a chai. Chai in July, man. Oh my God! I got a lot of sunscreen in my brows. It's chai in July. Cheers to the Fourth. Happy Fourth, y'all. Happy Fourth, y'all. Yeah. So yesterday was a total and complete fail. I look absolutely crazy. I feel absolutely terrible. Reason being that I have not eaten like that in like two and a half, three months. I have not had a cheat day. And honestly, I feel like this is a great segue into a wonderful topic. Let me grab my coffee. Let's walk away from my computer that is overheating. I am gonna be here Monday through Friday treating my YouTube channel like work. This is a new thing. I'm gonna try this. It's really not for anything. I just wanna create more content because I genuinely enjoy doing it. I love filming, I love editing, and I love uploading. It's actually funny because yesterday at the barbecue, my sister-in-law, Kelly, asked me like what I was doing with my makeup career. And like, I don't wanna go and do people's makeup. I don't wanna even like go and teach makeup. I kinda just wanna focus on myself and do the things in my life that make me happy. We'll see what happens. I mean, I feel like if you're consistent with things and you do things that you love and are passionate about, something's bound to stick. I can't really put myself in like that hustle mindset anymore. I just find like it doesn't work for me. I put way too much pressure on myself and then it sucks the fun out of everything. I'm going to be uploading five days a week, Mondays and Thursdays. I'm going to be uploading a longer form content video and then the other days I'm going to be uploading shorts. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't believe in cheat days because I feel like that's just like a terrible mindset. I believe in having what you want and honestly having what you want every day just in a controlled portion, which I did not control my portions yesterday and that was the first time in like two and a half three months like I said that I kind of just like went off the rails I don't know I felt very sore I felt very tired I didn't drink a single drink I did not consume any alcohol yesterday so I saved calories on that forefront but eating wise no like the desserts were so good I went in I had a hamburger I had ribs normally I would just have a cheeseburger and then I would have like portions of whatever salads that were there. Like I would have a little bit of macaroni salad, a little bit of potato salad. Like I don't restrict myself from foods entirely and good at portion controlling, which yesterday was a wash. So I hope you had a happy fourth. I hope that you indulged. I feel like we need to indulge sometimes, 
but my problem with indulging is how I feel the next day. I feel so terrible. I had my collagen coffee this morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm uploading a video. It is 10.30. We had a late start today. I just think that like in order to make anything consistent in life, you need to give yourself some grace and you need to make it work. So I woke up this morning and I felt really tired. So I stayed in bed a little bit longer. A lot of days I wake up early and I get shit done, but some days I just need to like change the schedule and just kind of listen to my body. In order to make anything consistent and sustainable, you need to listen to your body. So we're gonna work out. I have a 30 minute workout with Sydney. I will link the video that I do down below. I'm gonna upload this video. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna get changed. We're gonna drink some water. We're gonna work out. Mike and I are gonna go down the shore. So we'll have some beach content. I just need to get moving. Again, yesterday was July 4th. I ate like crap. I didn't move my body. It was an off day. Normally on my off days, I go for a walk. I try to be active. I make sure to get my 10,000 steps. I'll do a stretch or I'll do a yoga. It was none of that. So this was a very bad example of a weekend and I apologize, but I feel like this could be a friendly reminder that not every day is gonna be perfect and it's okay to pick it up the next day. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna pick it up back into the groove of things. We're gonna feel better. I just find like when I take care of myself physically, emotionally, mentally, and like nutritionally, I feel the best. And that's the biggest motivator for me. I just like feeling my best all the time. Not every day is gonna be perfect. And just because you had a crap day, I'm not gonna dwell on my day yesterday. We're talking about it here, I'm updating you, and then I'm moving the F on. We're moving on with the day. <laughs> Wow. I look crazy, but I thought we'd just throw like a wee bit of makeup on and talk about some fitness things that I've kind of, they're like my fitness mantras, I guess, or just like pivotal moments in thinking for me that took my fitness from a struggle to more of like a lifestyle, whereas I don't really need to think about it. Honestly, the biggest shift in my mindset was not focusing on the aesthetics of me. I know that a lot of us work out so that we can look better. How do I explain this? You know, if you're consistent, you're going to see a difference aesthetically. And that is a benefit of working out, obviously, but kind of just like focusing and looking at it more as you're doing this for your health. I'm just going to re-mist my face with a little bit of peach and lily. Whatever workouts you enjoy, you should do. I've been someone who has done hit classes strictly. I've been someone who's just done yoga. I've been someone who's done yoga and Pilates. Doing things that you enjoy, obviously, will help you to be consistent and keep keep up with your fitness journey and make it more of a lifestyle. You know, if you enjoy something, the odds of you doing it more often are higher. But I do think that weightlifting is so important for your longevity and just your overall health, especially as we get older. When I can overhead press 25 pounds, like I am giddy with excitement. And I get giddy with excitement when I'm pushing past my goals, not when I get on the scale and see a lower number. Do you know what I'm saying? I also don't weigh myself. I Everyone's fitness journey is different. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not here to preach to you, but I am going to put some sunscreen on. My goal is to remain active and eat healthy. I don't weigh myself because I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to get stronger physically, mentally, emotionally. Being thinner does not equal healthy. Being thinner does not equal happy. When I was younger, I worked out to be thin. I didn't work out because I wanted to be happier. I didn't work out because I wanted to be healthy. 
healthier. I simply worked out because I wanted to look skinny in a bikini. Now I just want to be strong. I want to be fit and I want to feel good. You could have been healthier when you were 20 pounds heavier. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be preachy. I don't mean to be annoying. I just think that in order to make fitness your lifestyle, it needs to be focused on something sustainable. Like I really care about my health. I've always been a healthy person. Again, what drove me to be healthy over the years has differentiated. You know, I was healthy when I was younger, but I was healthy in the sense that I worked out six days a week, but I wasn't eating well. You know, I was consuming low calories because I just had that thin, I wanna be thin mindset. So like at dinner, my mom would make chicken and she would make pasta. And instead of just sitting down and having a serving of pasta with a good helping protein nutritious chicken, I would instead have like a bowl of cereal and think that that was less calories so that that was better and healthier, but that's not healthier. And I hope that we all know that. And I'm sorry if we do know that. There's so many narratives around fitness. And I think the main focus of fitness, and obviously I might be biased, Bias because this is how I think of fitness, but I think the main focus should always be longevity. And as Sydney Cummings says, like I was trying to loop in before, but her mantra is healthy, happy, strong. And those are all things that I want to be, not only physically, but emotionally, not only when I'm working out, but in real life. Because I just think I'm such a big believer that moving your body and working out will trickle into everything else if you change your mindset. So being healthy means I'm working out, I'm eating well, I'm drinking a lot of water, I'm also getting my sleep. I'm also doing things that I enjoy that aren't health focused, but they're mental health focused, like reading, doing things that make you happy. And I wanna feel strong mentally, emotionally, physically. Like I love, there's nothing, like I said, like lifting a heavier weight, a weight that you've never lifted before. Because not only does that show you that you've come so far in your workouts, but it shows you that you have resilience in your workouts in life. Fitness has always been like a gateway to mental clarity for me. Your life and the things that you look at that you deem complicated in your head, you kind of have to think, maybe journal about it and write down like why it's so complicated in your head. Is it complicated or is it that you've made it complicated in your mindset? Not everything needs to be so terrible. Um, there are terrible things in life. I'm not here to say that everything is roses and can be butterflies so long as you think of it as such. Like, no, there's gonna be shitty parts of life. I just think that like if you can pull any joy out of it, like try to let those points be the highlight of that action. I don't know, it's silly, but even like dressing up better and going to work, I just feel more empowered to step into that like corporate woman who's worked in New York City for like 11 years. Like, I don't know, I just, I'm walking into that boss ass bitch mentality. At the end of the day, the only one who's been putting herself down is me. And I should be proud of where I'm at and grateful for what I have in the moment. So I know I said I was gonna put some makeup on, but I'm now sweating and I don't know. I just, I think that anything in life, like I was saying, is all about mindset. If you wanna do something nine out of 10 times, the reason why you're not doing it is because you are telling yourself that you can't do it. Everything in life is hard, but I think that consistency is key. Enjoying the ride, I don't know. And I really have this like vibration, this sense of, if I enjoy my life more, the universe is going to continue to give me more of what I focus and put my energy in because I just feel like that's like common sense, you know? If you think good thoughts, then when the universe gives you new things, you're gonna think positively about it and then it feels like the universe is in your favor. If you wanna buy a house, sitting here every day, I'm not like envisioning my house. I'm envisioning who that person is that is gonna live in that house. What I've done is I've taken time out of my day every day to tidy the house that we're already in, to take care of this house so that I love it and kind of just pour my good energy into it rather than being bitter about it and thinking like, I can't believe that we're still here. I really do think that if I nurture this home, when we go into our new home, I'll even have more gratitude towards that home. 2024, one of my goals was to change my mindset, shift my mindset, and I'm, I'm proud of me because I think this is like something that at the end of this year, I can check off of my, you know, I did what I said I wanted to do in 2024. But yeah, I really think that a lot of life is mindset. If you think you're the victim and everything, you will be the victim and everything. This steak is amazing. I'm yeah, glad really you're good. enjoying it. I'm glad. How's our burger? Delish. Wow. Yes, it looks delicious. Yeah. Whoa. All right, then the Especially when you're eating it. Eating. Well, he left this year. He left? Yeah, he left before when we were going in.
just finished my 30 minute workout. Oh my God, holy sweaty. It is hot out here. But I wanted to show you the new mat that I bought on Amazon. I will link it down below. I wasn't really excited when we first got it. However, I enjoyed it during this workout. It's really, it's it's game. Guy am, I never know how to say this. It's like a thick, spongy material. I like that it's orange. And this is good because when I work out, like this is concrete. This is good because it adds a bit of cushion. So I'm not like breaking my spine on the concrete. I'm sorry, it's very humid out. So you're probably foggy. Mike and I have had these for a while. They were at the beach house. Then we brought them home for the winter and we brought them back today because with Sydney's workouts, I always need weights. These are Bowflex and they're adjustable. So you just, the heaviest is 52.5. You just, keep them in here and they're adjustable. The only thing is, is like, they're a little awkward. They're a lot wider than your typical dumbbell, but I'm gonna be honest, if you have a small space, definitely worth it. I had one cup of coffee today with a little collagen to-go pack. The to-go packs have 10 grams of protein. When I do it at home and I use like the big jug, I get 20 grams. So I'm actually gonna go make another cup of coffee, put in another travel pack. This way I get my 20 grams of protein in. I'm probably gonna go have yogurt. Everyone else ordered egg sandwiches for breakfast, but still feeling full from last night, and so I think I'm just gonna have yogurt and keep it. You know, not that egg sandwiches are not healthy. I would totally eat an egg sandwich. I just feel like I've been eating a lot this weekend and I kinda wanna keep it light. Let's go have a cup of coffee, let's go have breakfast, and I need to carry these weights back into, ugh, I gotta carry these back into the garage. <sighs> I should get some steps in go for a walk for not only my physical health but more importantly my mental health I'm wearing my little Amazon set I will link them down below this is one that I wore to work out earlier today but it's so nice because being at the beach house I can go and take a 20 minute walk to go see my dad's bench so it's just a nice way to just I don't know like think about my dad I go to the bench I sit at the bench think about like your fitness health journey most of your day is spent in recovery because we spend what like maybe an hour in our workouts a day so that's 23 hours the rest of your day of figuring out how to recover it's hot but we here it's so nice here it's so peaceful i'm watching like all the birds dive into the water and catch fish super cute i honestly i could not be happier with this bench and the bench placement like it's so nice here I'm so happy and I hope my dad's happy too hey guys I'm gonna cut this vlog here I apologize if it wasn't like as in-depth as you would have liked it in terms of my you know fitness and what I've been eating I'm not in a good headspace I didn't have a good day yesterday I think the last time I checked in with you was when I went for a walk, I just feel like really emotional. I feel really upset. I just feel overwhelmed by life and by my dad's death. And I don't know, I'm like worried about my family. I'm worried about my mom. I'm just, I don't know. I have, I feel like I have the summertime sadness. And this sounds silly and it's so much more than what I'm about to say. But like I thought, like I didn't have a bad holiday weekend i just like thought in my mind and i feel like this is when i always end up feeling this way because in my head i kind of like glorify what it's gonna be like i thought this weekend it was gonna be nice weather and we were gonna be down the shore the whole time and it was just gonna be like good vibes and happiness sometimes i suppress my emotions as much as I don't like to admit it. And I just feel tired. Like I kind of just feel burnt out by how I'm feeling and I feel burnt out by like not dealing with how I'm feeling. And I just feel like, senor. Oh, hi, sir. He just puked all over. He puked everywhere downstairs. Some days I feel really positive and I feel really hopeful and I'm in a good mindset, but then I have these days 
where I feel like it all just comes crashing down. I'm trying to take it day by day, but just sometimes my anxiety sets in and it's like, well, what's gonna happen next? Like, I'm just, I feel like I'm just constantly worried about everyone. I'm worried about the world and I'm worried that it's like so hot out and I know I sound, might sound like a little crazy. I was looking forward to having just like a fun holiday weekend and forgetting all my problems and I don't know what happened, but my problems just all decided to knock on my front doorstep and be like, Hello. Also got like really sick on the beach yesterday. I'm just not, it's not, I'm not having a good time. And I'm not gonna like pretend that I'm not having, um, you know, I'm not gonna pretend. I hope that you had a great July 4th weekend. I'm really sorry to be a buzzkill, um, but you know me and I just, I gotta keep it real. And this is where I'm at. And if you're going through a hard time, you're not the only one. And this just goes to illustrate that one day I'm happy, the next day I'm not, and it's normal. It's normal to have emotions and it's normal. <sighs> I'm also PMSing, I don't really know. It's just, it's a slew of things. I feel crazy, but I share this part of me so that maybe you feel a little less crazy, but I love you guys so much. Genuinely, I really, really love you guys. Oh my God, it's like so annoying how much I just, I didn't know I could cry this much, honestly. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I really look forward to hanging out with you in my next video. And I hope that, you know, it's brighter smiles, better vibes. I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.